why I think the hustle is a lie. So I've been there. I adapted or adopted, if you will, that um, that mentality of you have to hustle to be successful in business. It meant working constantly, um, sacrificing things that I didn't want to sacrifice because that is what I needed to do. That is what it meant to hustle. I needed to show up all the time in every single way possible. Um, constant movement, constant work, even though my body was saying stop. Even though my mind was saying enough, I need a break, I would still push past that. There's that word push, push past that in order to hustle. And here's what happened. And I know you've seen it. I see it in my network all the time. Those who adopt the hustle mentality burn out. And sometimes it takes more than one burnout for them to get it. And I've seen this. I've seen people who've burnt out every couple of months repeatedly. They go back to that old way because that's how they make money. Work, work, work. Push, 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 push. From an energetic perspective, pushing creates resistance. Therefore, the hustle, that constant pushing against ourselves, pushing against our bodies and our mentality creates resistance. Therefore, it makes us sick. It burns us out. I am so anti-hustle. I have been there. I have done that. I was working, I was like setting up my business, working two jobs and the constant hustle of that, of something needs to be done right now, never letting my mind stop. And of course, I burnt out repeatedly (laughs) until I got it. It is not about the hustle. It is about the flow. It is not about consistently showing up time and time again. Push, 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 push. It's about working with your flow. It's about working smarter, not harder. How do you do this when it comes to social media? Social media, I find, is the biggest thing that suck people into this hustle mentality. Must show up online, must do it thousand times a day in every single platform across every single group. And all that does is burn you out. It's that hustle again. There needs to be an element of flow to it. You need to work smarter, not harder. And this is what I have found in my business. And this is what I spent the last year and a bit figuring out how do I do social media with flow and not hustle? How do I make that work without outsourcing? It's just me. How do I do that without hiring someone to do it for me? How do I do the flow and not the hustle? And I found the secret is all in the evergreen content. It's how you connect with your clients so they come to you and how to make that video or that post, that image relevant two months, three months, two years down the track. How to keep that content permanently um, relevant. That creates consistency. That creates efficiency. That makes things easy for you. And here's the best part. Those days where... You can't show up. Maybe your mind is saying enough, no business today. Maybe your body is saying it's time to rest. You are not in the position to show up online. You are not in the position to share your message. But if you have evergreen content, all you need to do is share. Sharing something is so much easier than having to go through the hair, the makeup, getting yourself in the right mindset before you show up. All you are doing is sharing something that is still relevant because you took the time to make it relevant always. You took the time to make it evergreen content. If you want help creating that evergreen content in your business, that not only attracts your clients to you, but avoids the hustle. Let's ditch this hustle mentality and go with our flow. If you want to know how to do that, the secret is in video storytelling. So if you want help with a video storytelling strategy for your business, jump over to melies.com.au and book an appointment with me. We'll have a chat and we'll work out how to anti-hustle your social media. Love and kindness, my friends. Mwah.